In technical drawing, an aligned section refers to a sectional view that is aligned with a specific feature or axis of the object being represented. When creating technical drawings, especially for engineering purposes, sectional views are often used to provide detailed insights to the internal structure of an object. Aligned sections are particularly useful when the internal features of an object are not perpendicular or parallel to the primary planes of project projection, such as the front, top, and side views. To create an aligned section, the cutting plane is oriented in such a way that it aligns with the desired feature or axis of the object. This allows the sectional view to reveal the internal details of the object along that specific alignment. Aligned sections help engineers, designers, and manufacturers to understand complex internal structures and relationships within the object more clearly. In this video, I'll show you how to create an aligned section using Autodesk Inventor. Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor, your source for practical solutions to your problems with AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe so you will be notified whenever new videos are published. Also, if you have any questions you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below. Now, on with the video. In order to demonstrate how to create the aligned section view, I've modeled this hub that has five holes. Notice that there's one at the top, but there's not one at the bottom. And so we're going to create the section view to go through this hole, through the center, and then out through this hole. In the drawing environment, you'll want to begin by placing your base view. So we'll go to Place Views and place that base view. <clears throat> I'm going to place it at a scale of 1 to 1, and I'll put it over here on the left-hand side of my sheet. When I'm done, I can choose OK. Now to create the aligned section, what you want to do is go to the Section tool, select the view that you want to create the aligned section of, and then track the center of the hub or of your feature, of your cylindrical object, through the hole at the top, then draw the line down to that center, and then go through the center of the hole that's not at the top. Notice that it's creating the uh, coincident constraint so that it absolutely goes through the center of that circle. After I've gone about 3 eighths of an inch or so outside that object, I can click again, right click, and choose continue, and then it allows me to create that side view as a revolved, or pardon me, an aligned section. Notice that the arrow on here is going through the center here, but it revolves or it rotates this hole down to the bottom so that this hole aligns with where it would be if it were at the bottom. This is correct, and they've got this nailed just the way it is. Now to finish this drawing out, all you need to do is go in and add center lines and uh, dimensions. So if I wanted to add center lines in this view, I can simply right click my mouse in the view, come down here to re uh, automated center lines, indicate that I want them in the axis view, and choose OK, and then I can adjust as necessary. In this view, you want to come in <clears throat> And on the Annotate tab, you'll use the Centered Pattern tool, select the center of the, of the hub as the first, uh, as, the, as the initiation point, then pick the holes around the object in order until you get all the way around and pick the top one again. Right click your mouse, choose Create, and then you can simply come in and adjust the size of the other center lines so that they are the correct size. Creating that aligned section has never been easier.